Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to MAD. So today I have Nilava with me, uh, who is uh, only rank six uh, with IT branch from GIT 2022. So Nilava, I would like you to introduce yourself, maybe which college you are from and from which place. Yes, hello everyone. My name is Nilava Sarkar and I'm from West Bengal. Currently I'm in my final year of my BTEC and I, I'm doing it from Techno India Salt Lake, which is also in West Bengal. And I'm from IT department. Currently I have given gate from CS, CS paper and I had a rank of AI6. Sure. Thanks Nilava. So that's a good rank, very good rank, like under 10, right? So first, first of all, congratulations for that. So the Thank question you. that comes in any student's mind is that, uh, which year, because right now you're in final year, right? So when did you thought of starting this preparation? So was it second year, third year? Can you just, uh, tell us about that? Yes. Like uh, when I took admission to Techno India, I mm -hmm. took it to EI branch, that is instrumentation branch in my mm -hmm. first year. So mm -hmm. from my first year only, I had a plan of giving gate in instrumentation branch. Mm -hmm. After first year, I changed my department to IT, mm -hmm. but I kept on with the plan of giving gate. Mm -hmm. And in, uh, in my second, from the second year onwards, I started with my preparation. And after second year, that is in my third year, when IIT Bombay introduced that third years can also sit for gate. Mm -hmm. I gave gate that year and had a rank of 637, I guess. Mm -hmm. And after that, again, I mean, uh, did revision and all and sat in my final year. So more or less, it was a preparation, which I started from second year. Only. Okay, great. So you started from second year and this was your second attempt, right? Yes. So yes. second question comes is, was this fully self preparation or did you do join any coaching also? If yes, which one? Okay, so in uh, the attempt in my third year, in my second year, it was a fully self-paced. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, for my final year attempt, I joined Applied Gate, their online videos. I mm -hmm. took that course and mm -hmm. uh, for test series, I uh, took uh, their their test series comes with the course only. Mm -hmm. And other than that, I took maybe this test series. Okay, understood. So how much helpful was these coaching material and test series was to you. So for example, if a student is there and he wants to know, is this coaching mandatory and is this test series mandatory? So obviously it's case to case basis, but what would be your thoughts and suggestions? Okay. So I should say that, uh, it's not mandatory for to take coachings online or offline anything, like, Correct. but, uh, for us, like if a person or student is having doubt for a particular subject, I should suggest if they have time, they can go through the standard textbooks. Mm -hmm. Now, if they don't have time, they can go for, then they can go for coaching institutes. Mm -hmm. Now for my case, uh, uh, they actually get applied, had an all India, uh, scholarship test Thank and you. through that uh, scholarship test, I had a rank within hundred for Achha. in through which I got the whole, the course for free. Mm -hmm. And th that's the reason why I took it and uh, studied my, like uh, my points where I was lagging behind. I studied from that part, but I would say that coaching institutes will shape you to 60 to 70%. Mm -hmm. Rest 30 to 40% is up to the students, how they prepare. I mean, how they prepare mentally and also the number of questions they practice and to how much depth they go with the subjects. Correct. So I think a good point. So it's not mandatory to have coaching, but yes, yes. it can add to your value. If uh, uh, you have less time, so it could be a focused guided study. Otherwise you can prepare on your own also. Yes, okay. Yes, thanks. Yes. Thanks. Thanks for sharing. So now coming to the test series, right? So you mentioned you had made easy test series, you had applied. So how important these test series are before going for actual uh, exam preparation and what was your rankings in these test series uh, when, while you were taking these? Okay, so uh, when I started with the topic test, now now to in topic tests, I almost had a 70 to 80 percent of marks out of like 15 or 20 because topic tests had 15 marks or 20 marks tests only. Mm -hmm. And coming to full subject tests, I used to uh, have a rank uh, marks of above 70 plus only, mm -hmm. more or less 70 plus in all of the test series, either be the first one or the last one. Last one. Mm -hmm. Now talking about the importance, uh, one thing for sure, it will enhance the, I mean, uh, the practice skills plus the, I mean, uh, managing time also like mm -hmm. uh, uh, with more and more practice, students will know how to shape up each and every question. 
correct each and every question correct but again uh, i have seen also many of the like uh, aspirants going for three to four test series i i will say that is not needed mm-hmm. if someone takes two test series good quality tests they give uh, and with fully focus like if someone does a mistake write it down revise mm-hmm. then it is enough to get a good rank okay when you say two test series is it like you are saying two different uh, firms like yeah, marysi yeah. and as like that you are saying yes 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 okay, like okay. that like that two okay. from two different institutes two different institutes okay great sounds good now coming to the uh, important subjects and books that you would like to refer because you to exam from cs right so what are the important subjects and books that one should definitely uh, be focusing on for this uh, gate from the cs perspective yes now uh, one thing to say that in computer science uh, till last year there mm-hmm. was a subject called as compiler design now mm-hmm. for every year the weightage in compiler design was 2 to 3 marks mm-hmm. that is uh, pretty much negligible from the point of view of 100 marks right mm-hmm. but in last year that is 2021 iit bombay had uh, given a weightage of 10 to 11 marks from compiler design mm-hmm. so i i will suggest to everyone that don't skip subjects Correct. even if you are skipping a subject maybe in that case easy questions came you will lose marks everyone correct. will it's on the positive side correct correct and for every uh, like there is a operating systems computer correct. networks correct. database like correct. for operating systems uh, there is a famous book of galvin mm-hmm. and uh, uh, for discrete mathematics there is a kenneth rosen mm-hmm. and uh, these are uh, like uh, i cannot name all of them but correct. there are i mean if someone goes through quora they will get everything correct. i mean uh, everyone has mentioned out the books if someone actually goes for self studies they can uh, pick out those books uh, the pdfs are easily available mm-hmm. and uh, they can uh, learn from it now the only problem is uh, the whole of the book is not in gate so mm-hmm. they just uh, need to do some r and d before going through the books okay because uh, until uh, i mean at the end of the day uh, you need to get a good rank not uh, the whole book you need to do correct so because gate also publishes his syllabus right so yeah yeah how what, what is your plan like you were focused on the syllabus and you were studying according to that or because some people what they do is okay i have this book these are the chapters let me go through everything or one is like a very focused these are the topics that has been mentioned by gate for the syllabus so i should kind of cover this so how did you kind of uh, uh, differentiate between these two okay so uh, for this uh, i always uh, stuck with the syllabus mm-hmm. whatever was in the syllabus mm-hmm. uh, i uh, did it but the difference i felt was even for a sub topic i used to practice more not same type of questions more mm-hmm. varied type of questions correct like even a tough question i used to solve it mm-hmm. if i couldn't i used to write it down but mm-hmm. for a topic i focused more on the problem solving plus mm-hmm. understanding the concept mm-hmm. but uh, i uh, never like uh, if it is not in the syllabus uh, during the preparation i never uh, went for it but okay. after prep like for learning it is okay but Understood. i i will suggest that students should stick to stick the syllabus, to the syllabus. correct yeah i think good point uh, no need to uh, pressurize yourself with more syllabus right okay that sounds good now coming to the uh, notes part so many students come and say that okay we have the notes from the coaching institute or maybe we can refer some reference books so how important it, it is to make your own notes and also to study from the standard books so what are your thoughts on that okay so for notes making i would suggest uh, like uh, it is a must for everyone like uh, either you sit for get on that day all or not it is a must for everyone because uh, the coaching institutes the notes everyone will read mm-hmm. your own notes is, the only person is you mm-hmm. i mean you can write it in hindi or any language which will suit you you will mm-hmm. write down some questions which mm-hmm. others may not get you mm-hmm. will write down notes in your own way mm-hmm. plus i would say that a standard textbooks will from now will come into the picture as because mm-hmm. msqs has been introduced correct in k so with msqs Uh, and for the last 2 years uh, approximately 15 msqs have been given in computer science paper mm-hmm. so a huge chunk of uh, marks is going for msqs and mm-hmm. for msqs in depth knowledge is a must Correct. and for that students who might feel that after going like uh, from the knowledge they are taking from institutes it's not sufficient they must go with standard textbooks and learn those concepts from there understood so when you say msqs like is that the mcqs basically 
no no mcqs are like uh, only one option correct msqs okay. are multiple, multiple. more than okay. one okay 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 understood understood sure but with no partial marking with no partial marking okay understood now coming to the examination strategy in the examination hall itself right so because many people uh, say that okay uh, shall i start the exam from the last or shall i start the paper from the first question how much time should i devote to each question if i am getting it or not getting it so what was your strategy on that okay so when i started with the, the test series i used to uh, like uh, let's say suppose i am giving 20 tests a few tests mm -hmm. at home so what i used to do for like four tests i used to keep one strategy and for the next test i used to uh, take another strategy so, to see which one is suiting more correct now uh, for the last two years what they have done they have mixed jumbled up questions of one and two marks mm -hmm. uh, previously they used to give all the one mark questions at first or something like that but they, mm -hmm. from now they have jumbled it mm -hmm. so i would uh, suggest uh, like for a question which they think they must like keep two phase throughout the three hours mark mm -hmm. in the first phase uh, they should like do the questions which they are they feel that yes i can do it mm -hmm. uh, with the first go mm -hmm. and in the and they must complete it within 2 hours the whole mm -hmm. of the paper mm -hmm. and after that for next 30 to 40 minutes i should uh, say that uh, the second go will happen where they will visit the questions they have kept for the reaction correct and the last 10 to 15 minutes for revision this okay. was the strategy i used to follow because in all of the tests and on the day also i finished the paper within 2 hours only okay and for the next 30 to 40 minutes it was for revisiting some of the questions and the last 10 minutes was for revision okay understood great uh now coming to uh, your college selection right so which college are you targeting have you already decided which iit or isc you would like to join and why okay so like i have i am in a, still a dilemma to either like choose isc or iit bombay but mm -hmm. in isc bangalore also there will be a coding test which Correct. is scheduled on 18th okay and uh, after that uh, i will see but uh, till now uh, my more uh, i mean i am more inclined to iit bombay only okay understood and what are your criteria of this like you want to uh, do job after your masters or you want to go for higher studies and what are your criteria of choosing a college at this point because this question might come for other students also yes now at this moment i am thinking for a job after masters but mm -hmm. uh, while doing my masters if i find a particular interest in any of the topics or Correct. any of the subjects Correct. then i might reconsider my decision but uh, at, the, at this point it's uh, only job uh, i mean after my masters i will be opting for a job only okay sure and like what are your criteria of selecting this institute like what parameters are you uh, evaluating ic bangalore versus iit bombay so and, uh, the that uh, reason is uh, like after talking with many of the seniors uh, mm -hmm. what they said that isc bangalore both of the colleges are having a brilliant placement stats for that uh, i am not choosing any of them but Correct. like uh, if uh, someone is actually wishing to get through that vivid culture of iits mm -hmm. amongst the btechs uh, or the type of students btechs mbas mtechs phds uh, then you might uh, consider iits whereas mm -hmm. iic is a some is a place where uh, a more peace i mean peaceful area mm -hmm. uh, not that vivid culture like correct. that uh, so that's the reason why i am more inclined to iits uh, i want to live go through that vivid fa phase of uh, not only studying plus correct. enjoyment so you want to have that vibrant culture yes, of iits yes. versus a uh, research oriented peace kind of culture of ic bangalore right okay yes 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 that, uh, i'm uh, more inclined to this uh, vibrant culture of iits and all understood understood sure so thanks thanks nilava thanks for sharing all your feedback maybe so as to summarize what would be your thoughts and suggestions for anyone who is preparing now for gate and who is in first year so what would be your last suggestions or guru gyan ki how you should prepare yes like uh, a student who is in first year uh, what i will suggest is uh, they should not think about how to start their mm -hmm. gate preparation first mm -hmm. years is for exploring their college like what they Correct. have in the college and again they should rethink about how to go for placements or gate they mm -hmm. should think about it because uh, one thing is to say that if someone is actually targeting product based companies uh, 
they can easily do it be they are from a tier 3 college Correct. or a tier 2 college if they are good in coding some Correct. good project works they can get it from their uh, btech degree only Correct. Correct. now if some of the students are actually interested in research works and but like the cultured iits have then i should say they must consider giving get but they should think it from the from second year onwards correct and uh, they are uh, like the for the structure they should follow is first start with mathematics because for for computer science uh, uh, we have engineering mathematics plus discrete mathematics and mm -hmm. discrete mathematics actually have a weightage of almost 15 marks so mm -hmm. they should uh, be thorough with mathematics mm -hmm. and then comes the technical subjects mm -hmm. and um, as because third years can also sit in gate i should mm -hmm. uh, suggest that they must give whatever be the preparation is if their motto is get aim mm -hmm. is get mm -hmm. they should sit in third year to see where they lie actually in the competition and in the final year they can like recorrect all the decisions they have taken um, during that time and I, i would also suggest to not to neglect placements they must also prepare for placements also be it's the minimal effort but they should not neglect placements correct understood sure thanks thanks nilava so i had all these questions with me thanks for answering and i i hope this would be helpful to the students who would be uh, planning to appear for gate from cs background so thank you very much and please uh, uh, guys uh, keep sharing uh, and uh, do subscribe to the channel uh, that would be really helpful and we would be coming up with more uh, videos like this with toppers from gate ias and other uh, competitive exams so thank you very much